the Bear Dynamic MMX 300 Gen 2. Coming in at a whopping price tag of $239. Is it worth it? Let's see. If at any point during the video you want to check out this exact same product, there's Amazon links below. Build quality on the MMX 300s for the price is lacking. It feels solid, but not premium whatsoever. This has a basic leather wrap top band and soft velour earmuffs. The ear cups are entirely made of plastic and adjustable bands are nice brushed metal, but all adjustments are super stiff. So if you're talking just from like a usability, long-term 20 year period, it's gonna be great. This seems like it's going to hold up, but it does not feel premium whatsoever. And when you're paying almost $250 for a headset, that's something you're either gonna to have to be okay with stomaching or not okay with stomaching. Now the firmness of all adjustments doesn't just include like the top band. The mic is also super, super stiff. The good thing is when you get it dialed in, nothing is moving. No matter how hard you game or how hard you throw your headset around, it's, it's not gonna move. So that is one positive out of what many may call a negative. And the cherry on top with the build quality says does come with a nice carrying case. It's very cool actually. But who cares about that? Let's talk sound quality for $239. It better be good. And it is truly impressive. These drivers are unbelievably clear. It has good bass, but not tons of bass. While these are absolutely no question better drivers, they're not tuned perfectly. With an EQ tune, these can become absolutely golden. Now, personally for listening to music, while it sounds absolutely fantastic, I do want more bass. But gaming headset video, so how does it game? Well, these are quite amazing. Like, so, so good. It is so freaking easy to tell where sounds are coming from. And because the drivers are so good, they're able to do high frequency response, the trebles, so crisply without ever being over boosted and zero muddiness. That's really quite impressive to get. And that's something that really comes out with games. The clicks and the depth of footsteps and other clicks and you know bullet shells dropping on the floor, like that is absolutely wild. These are so good that way. These really do bring out every fine little detail, which is pretty awesome for gaming. They're really just lacking bass out of the box, which honestly, when I got these out, I was like, okay, they're not open back. You would expect that it would have more bass, but it does not. So EQ tune it if you want more bass, exceptional drivers. Now for controls on the cable, there is a volume wheel, mic mute switch, and a play pause button. It works. Pretty well, but I would prefer it on the headset itself. For connectivity, this uses a detachable 3.5 millimeter cable or another detachable 3.5 millimeter cable with a Y split for separate mic and headphone connections. There is also a 6.35 millimeter adapter in the box. Again, if you have like an amp or, you know, whatever you want to use it for, you got it. Now as for comfort, these provide a great seal, but the really only problem I have with comfort because everything else is like good. I can game on these for a long period of time without it getting physically uncomfortable, but it does get a little bit hot, which we do expect. Just from looking at these, these do get a little bit hot. If you do, you know, not have your AC blasting a lot of time, this might be something to consider. The top band is plush and they have a great weight to them. Overall, I don't really have many complaints besides the fact that these do get hot. Now let's talk about mic quality on the Bear Dynamics. You could easily use this for voiceovers. It is super clear and crisp, but doesn't lose those lower tones in your voice. It also has a fantastic low noise floor, but don't take my word for it. Take a listen to the mic test. This is the mic test of the Bear Dynamics MMX 300 Gen 2s. Check, 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 one, two, three. And that is how it sounds. Again, if you want to check out this exact same product, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, Canada, and international links. And if you want to check out my main channel with longer form content, you can check that out right here. But this is a consumer tech review, high speed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.